Usually, when students come in to learn audio engineering, they come in with an interest of learning the inner workings of how a record is made. What most people fail to realize is that trying to understand how a song is mixed or mastered before understanding the elementary concepts of physics is like trying to do calculus before even learning basic arithmetic like addition and multiplication. Why is understanding physics of sound important? We often tend to throw around a lot of audio related jargon without really understanding what they mean. Things like dB, LUFS, frequency response, etc. Physics forms the building blocks of everything that we see around us. And truly understanding this science unlocks the potential of what one can do with this information. Once you have a true grasp of these concepts, they can not just help you understand what they mean, but also help you make better, more informed decisions of how you can make these things work in a physical sense. Things like why bigger drivers are needed to create low frequency why more power is required to create those lower frequencies and how you can use this understanding from a mixing perspective to create space in your mix. I cannot stress enough on the importance of understanding these basic building blocks. Let me explain with an example. We had a student a few years ago who was interested in checking out the different frequency responses of different headphones. Using the understanding of physics and constantly asking questions, he was able to test the frequency response of multiple headphones accurately and compile this data to help his batchmates understand the true color of what those headphones were adding to their mixes. This is just one of the many examples in which you can apply this knowledge. We spend time understanding how different microphones work, what the key differences in all of them are, and not just differentiate them from a physical standpoint, but actually spend time in the studio miking various instruments with them and hear the differences in their sonic characteristics. We also record various instruments like piano, guitars, vocals, horns, using various different microphones to understand how to actually apply concepts like polar patterns, frequency response, transient response in a manner that students can hear and implement. Students were given the task of using different microphones to capture these instruments together and then figure out how to get the best tonal performance out of the session. Our goal is to give the students access to all of these tools to help them learn how to paint the perfect sonic picture.